What is gonna guys, Jack here and welcome back to another episode of the Portsmouth Career Mode series. This is episode number 107 now guys, and we are gonna be starting today's episode off by having a little look at the league table. Seeing where we are in the league table, we're currently in 5th after 4 games. We've won 3 games and we only lost 1. Of course that was to Swansea, who are currently at the top of the table, undefeated this season. And we will be going into the first game of today's episode against Arsenal, who are currently sitting in 11th. So not really doing too well, as they are currently sitting in 11th in this career mode. So they haven't really had the best start to the season and that will be a good chance for us here to capitalise on that. Maybe get a win against Arsenal. That would be really, really good going to the Emirates Stadium. But before we do get into anything, guys, I want to thank you guys for all the support that you did give on the last episode. We managed to get well over 65 likes again. And I can't thank you guys enough for all the support you've been giving me. You guys seem to be loving this series so much recently. I've said that a lot, but it really is true. Because if you look at the amount of support I've gotten recently compared to a few months ago, it's just mind-blowing. It's increased so much. And to any new people that have subscribed to the channel, and welcome to the channel and a lot of you new subscribers have been asking is there going to be a new career mode on this channel of course this one is a little bit hard to follow especially for you new subscribers I can imagine none of you or very very few subscribers that have recently subscribed to this channel will be willing to go through 107 episodes considering they're all 10 minutes long each I can understand that a lot of you that have subscribed to this channel want a new career mode and I will be well, I will be deciding that basically very very soon what happens with the future of this channel and if we do another career mode or not it's really really in the balance at the moment not really too sure what I'm going to be doing with that and if I do do a new career mode what team would you guys want me to do as we take the lead there Rikario Zivkovic gets taken down in the box and of course he scores that penalty he's ever so reliable at scoring the goals and he gets the first one in a very interesting game against Arsenal and you'll see why I've said that in a little while's time but uh, anyway going back to what I was actually talking about that new career mode that a lot of people have been asking for will be at well decided whether we do a new one or not because we are coming to the latter stages of FIFA 15 so it wouldn't really make too much sense starting up a whole new career mode so I may do like a mini series type thing and we get the second penalty of the game there just have to point this out because it's another bookable offense this time it's a straight red card for Eric Palmer Brown and that was a very bad challenge Zivkovic didn't even put the shot into the back of the net and he still took him down from behind and Zivkovic converts that one gets his second penalty of this game and it's all happening in the first half of this match a red card two penalties scored and dispatched by Rikario Zivkovic and really starting to get very interesting against Arsenal in this match and again I'm just getting distracted I need to go back to this so it is coming to the end of FIFA 15 now so is it really worth doing a new career mode Probably not. It's probably not going to get the support that a lot of people think it will. And that is why I'm a little bit reluctant to be starting a new one from scratch. And I'm not really too sure what I'm going to be doing about that. I'll, I'll probably decide in the next few days and we will get that all sorted out. And I've also got a little thing to tell you guys that I have got a few different sorts of videos coming out in the next few weeks or so. As Zivkovic gets his hat trick there. Okay, I need to stop getting distracted, honestly. But Zivkovic... Getting a hat-trick, two penalties and a rebound. He is going to be taking those goals every day of the week. And he's taken Mandron's spot. He's done very, very well. And that's his fifth goal in, I believe, five matches now. So he's really, really done well in the Premier League so far. Hopefully continues to score the goals and make sure that we end up winning the match. And a real emphatic victory it was turning out to be. But then Arsenal got one back in the 82nd minute. It was Mertesacker who was actually the reason behind Arsenal conceding so many goals. And the reason that behind that was because well let's just put it this way Jordan Ibe 99 well not 99 pace sorry 97 pace Jordan Ibe against 23 24 pace Mertesacker by this stage of career mode really not a fair contest is it you could just see here Mertesacker does not know what to do can't even catch up with Zivkovic he's not even that quick and Zivkovic is unselfish passes it across to Jordan Ibe and Jordan Ibe dispatches that one very nicely and a 4-1 victory against Arsenal 4-1 if you would have said that at the beginning of the season I would have I would have laughed because I just can't believe that we scored four goals at the Emirates Stadium and we get a very very emphatic victory Zivkovic in that match working wonders up front with Jordan Ibe I thought the man drive combination had it all 
but obviously I was wrong and Zivkovic stole the show in that match. Got a 9.9 .9 match rating and did very, very well in getting the three goals, to be honest. Getting the two penalties. He seems to get so many penalties and I really like that about him. And then we get some bad news there. Matt Wilczynski thinks he might be staying at the club, so that is a little bit of a shame. I do like to give my players stick a lot in this career mode. I mean, he really isn't the best player. I have to put it to you guys that way. And I've played him so much. You guys think I don't really play him that much. I give him a chance in the first team last season. Or it was the season before. I can't really remember. But either way, we've given him numerous chances. He really hasn't shown that he's a good player. And to be honest, I'd rather play Dele Alli at centre attack in midfield position. As we go into the next game here against Tottenham. And Tottenham, unfortunately, did end up taking the lead here it's Townsend getting the goal of all people Townsend is the one that scores the goal makes it 1-0 and celebrates like an absolute asshole there with the aeroplane a celebration not really too sure what he's doing there making a mockery of himself but it is him to get the goal so I guess he can do what he likes because he got the goal and he put them in front in this match and then it's Prosperi going down the left hand side passing it back into Ben and Williams and it's a really good cross into the middle that very very luckily finds Mandron and Mandron starts Starting in this match, of course, he's an hour backup striker. He does get the goal, the equaliser in this match. The one that we were desiring to get. And it's a very, very good cross in the first place. Didn't get to Jordan Ibe. And then I believe it is, yeah, well, of course, it's Manjon turning in the rebound from that one. And he's going to score that one every single day of the week. But it was one of those matches. Not really too much happened in the first half. Dele Ali passes it to Jordan Ibe, who passes it to Yedlin. He uses his pace down the right-hand side. Crosses it into the middle and Manjon leaps high over, I believe that's Kabul actually at the back. And it's a very, very good header by our striker. Getting his second goal in the game, putting us in front. And it's a very, very good cross as well. Don't know if that took a deflection on the way through. But either way, a rare-headed goal in this game. And it is Manjon to get it, making it 2-1. And let me know in the comments down below, guys. Do you prefer the live commentaries or do you prefer the post commentaries? Because for me, I prefer the live commentaries. If you want me to do more live commentaries, then do let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, I will probably prefer to do more live commentaries. As Ali gets another goal in this match. And it was turning into an emphatic victory here. I say that. It's only the 66th minute. But still, Ali gets a goal there and gets himself on the score sheet. A rare scorer as I'm playing him at central midfield position. But it's a very, very nice goal by Dele Ali. Of course, scoring against his club that he's now actually at in real life. And that is a bit of an interesting one for you guys. And they were, of course, looking to try and at least close down the gap to 3-2. to two. They were trying to get a goal, but it wasn't to be. And we will go on the counter-attack now. Some lovely little 1-2 football here all the way into Manjon. He would then wait for the run. A really good pass into Jeremy Boga off the bench. And he gets the fourth goal of the match. So two 4-1 victories. One against Arsenal, one against Spurs. And it really is a very, very, well, a very good episode for goal scoring anyway. Another goal in this match. And that wraps up another really, really good victory for us. And a very, very good one. Manjon getting two goals. Dele Ali and Boga getting on the score sheet. A very, very nice victory. And after that match, I was very, very happy. Very confident with the team. And it just seems like everything is going our way at the moment. It's really, really good. That's what you want it to be in career mode. Everything going your way. And we've certainly had games and matches in the recent past where it's not really been the case like that. And uh, you can see there, Jordan Ibe is happy that he is getting into the team. And that is really, really good. But we are now going to be taking a break from the games. We're going to go ahead and sim a match here against Hull City. Then we will have a squad report and a few other emails that will be very very vital to this season and you will have to see what those are in a moment's time and in this match we do end up taking the lead and then we get another goal through Poliak so Poliak and Brooks getting a goal in a 2-1 victory but unfortunately Chaloba did get injured and he's going to be out for four weeks that is a massive blow he's out with a sprained ankle and he is one of our pivotal very, very key players. Unlike Florian Thalvin, who did subsequently get an injury after that one. And we also see here that we get an international management offer from Brazil. And we now have three international management offers. I decided to stall this one for the time being. And I also stalled the United States one. And also the Colombian offer that they, they re-offered me the job, basically, for the Colombian national team. But if you want me to, well, manage any of those teams... Let me know in the comments down below, guys. We could 
do Brazil. Brazil would be very, very interesting indeed. And then, of course, we've got Colombia still. We could stick with them if you want me to. Or we could go with someone a little bit lower down the rankings and we could try and bring them to glory. And that is the United States of America. Whichever one you want me to do, you can let me know down in the comments down below as we go into a squad report here. And as always, if you want to see any players and their growth, then of course, feel free to pause the video. Take a little look. We've got some very, very good growth in there. And it's very nice to see that a lot of our first team players are growing. As always, we are having a real, real good time with the growth in this career mode. Unlike some other career modes, I know a lot of people are having trouble growing players on this year's career mode. And to be honest, the only real way to combat that issue is to loan out the players. If they're over 21, loan out the player for a season-long loan, then recall them. That should fix it. You can alternatively leave them out on loan. And I found that that actually fixed Luke James's potential. And he ended up growing. He was 24 when I loaned him out, I think. And I, well, left him out on loan for the season. He came back. He started growing. And that really, really impressed me. And I think that that is how you fix it if they are over 21 years old. Need to do a little bit more research on that. But it really does suck. All of the growth problems on this year's career mode really does hinder the potential of some of the players. What players could have been in this career mode? You know, we got Ryan Gould. He didn't grow. We got other players as well. Like, I'm trying to think of some other players that didn't really grow. We got Matthew Ryan, I guess. Our goalkeeper, he didn't really grow at all. And he wasn't really that great for us when he really should have been. But anyway, once again, I'm getting sidetracked. I must be the king of getting sidetracked and just going off of topic. But I'm sure that makes it a little bit more interesting. Instead of just talking about the game the whole time and what's going on in these games. Playing against Sparta at Mosva. And unfortunately for us... They scored late on in the game. There was nothing happening in the game. They scored late on and Ulreich really is to blame for that one. Why on earth did he come off of his line trying to get that one? I have no idea. We have centre-backs very, very capable of heading that one out. We've got Lascelles with 97 heading accuracy, but it was still not enough to prevent them from scoring that undeserved goal late on. It, shouldn't have, it should not have been a nil-nil draw, basically. But in the end, we end up losing that one against Sparta at Moskva, and we were at home, so that really is a big blow. We started off the group very, very well, but now we have dropped all three points, and it really is a shame, because that means that the group is completely open now. Anything can happen, and I really do hope that we end up progressing in the Champions League. But anyway, guys, this is going to be the end of the video. Hopefully, you have enjoyed, and if you have enjoyed this episode of Career Mode, then make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already, as it really does help out my channel, guys, and it shows me you are enjoying this series, and you're doing it to continue, and in the next few days, I will have some player reviews and some other videos on this channel for you guys to look forward to but apart from that guys i'm gonna have to leave it there and i'll see you next time for another video thanks for watching